back today with another video and today I'm going to talk about bags I've sold and why luxury bags that I've sold um, so if you want to know which bags I've sold and why keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's free like my video and if you've sold any but luxury bags why don't you make a comment below and let me know what they were and why you sold them so start off I had the speedy 40 and the monogram um, I will put a picture in maybe right here or have it zoom past. It was just so big. I, I, I carry everything in the kitchen sink as um, many from Minx for all would say. I carry everything in the kitchen sink in my purses, but that one was just too big and didn't have a crossbody option. So you just have to carry it by a top handle. And that was just too, I, I didn't, I didn't like that. Um, and the Speedy 40 goes for $1,140. I of course got it pre-loved. So you know, it wasn't that much, but it's still, it was in good condition. I just, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Uh, one piece that I purchased that I bought from the Louis Vuitton boutique, I've purchased two from the LV boutique and I will tell you about both of those now because I've sold them both. One was the um, multi cart test, I, I don't know, but it was an accordion style um, card carrier and it was in the fuchsia color. It's about $350 uh, or it was, I don't know if it's still for sale on the Louis Vuitton website. You can find some in the pre loaf market, but they're kind of rare. I did not like it at all. I felt like every time I put stuff in it, because it's accordion style, you put stuff, you know, cards down in it. I felt like it was just bulging it out so much that I was going to end up causing damage or popping the zipper. And so I just never reached for it because I had the zippy wallet, which like I've said in a, you know, pre prior video, it, that, that thing, that sucker carries so much that there is, there was no reason for me to have a second one. Um, if I did have it still today, I probably would use it to carry gift cards and reward, and reward cards and whatnot. But I mean, even reward cards are typically linked to your phone number. So you don't actually have to carry a physical reward card anymore. And there's apps for that, that you can put them all in there and carry them there. So I sold that piece. The other piece that I purchased from the Louis Vuitton boutique was called the Josephine wallet. Um, and it was in that ballerine pink and I've talked about it a little bit before. I love that wallet. It was great. It opened, it was almost, I believe um, a trifold you'd call it. So it opened up and in the very back of it had this long pocket that went all the way to the bottom. And that was the pink interior there. And then it had, oh my gosh, so many card holders and a little pouch that went into that long, um, you know, slip in the back. And it was, it was a beautiful piece, but the button on the very front was also the pink ballerine color and it rubbed, it was leather. So it would rub off. And I just didn't like the look of it wearing out so quickly for the amount I paid. I don't actually know what that, how much that one is. So I will look that up and insert that here. Um, but I, I want to say that the Josephine wallet is still available online. That is one that I sold. Mm, I sold it in a pre-loved uh, Louis Vuitton group on Facebook. And I actually ended up meeting up with somebody local. And I want to say I made, I made back the majority of my money. But when I include in the amount of times that I, like, I think I carried it for about a month and it started wearing, which was the other reason it just wore so quickly. So when I, again, because I don't know how much it was, I think it was like maybe 380, 400, maybe 450 tops. But when I deduct the amount of times that I carried it, from that amount and then what I got from it, I think I sold it for about $400. Uh, you, you know, the cost per wear to me, that was totally worth it. And since I made back a good portion of my money that I could then put towards something, you know, another luxury good, I, I was happy with that. Another Speedy. I sold a Speedy 30 and the Dami Azor. So I have owned a Dami Azor piece before. I. I think I ended up selling it because the the um, classic Speedy that only has the top handles, it is just, it's so hard to carry when you're like me and you like to carry everything because you don't have an option to put it over your shoulder. So uh, it, when I recall, that print is gorgeous and I would love to own another piece before, like I've said. Um, so I'd like to own another piece again, but I don't know when I will do that. And if I do, and it is a speedy, it would be the speedy bandolier because it has that option, that crossbody option. Um, and I like that it zips. I am a tote girl at heart. So maybe it would be a never full. I really don't know. I'm just not there yet. Guess what guys? I sold another speedy 30, but this time it was in the Damier Aben. 
I can't believe I'm saying that, but clearly I have, I had the Speedy Damier Azure, the Speedy 30 Damier Azure first, and I sold it because of the color. I got the Speedy Damier Aben maybe four years ago, three years ago. And guess what? I didn't like that it was top handle. Same reasons as I said before, it was in really great condition. I got it on the used market and then I sold it in a Louis Vuitton Facebook group. I think I ended up making back the exact same amount of money that I had spent on it. Um, those are Speedy and Speedy 30 especially are pretty much dime a dozen on the used, the pre-loved market. So I will link some of those down below for you um, that are in really good condition and maybe you can buy one and try it out for yourself. Just because it's not for me, doesn't mean it's not gonna be for you. I also had a bag called the Salea and it was in the Damier Avene and it had these rolled leather handles. I'll insert a picture. Um, it was a beautiful bag. It zips up at the top. So it was like a Neverfull. It was almost the size of a Neverfull MM, but it had a zipper at the top. So it was really, really secure. I loved that bag, but the rolled handles were, they were so thick that they really dug into my shoulder and it just wasn't that comfortable for me. So I ended up selling that one. I listed it on the app next door as well as all my pre-loved sites and whatever. And I ended up selling it to a neighbor down the street and she loves it. She also purchased from me another bag that I've sold. Um, and that was the, she also purchased the Citadine GM in the Omprant leather and the Infini color. Um, it was a gorgeous bag. Let's see, it goes for, it retails for $2,960 because it's that Omprant leather. On the pre-loved market, I paid $1,295 and I also didn't have to pay tax on it or shipping because I got free shipping. So that was through Fashion File. Um, she ended up purchasing that one for me as well. So now she she owns the Celea Citadine, yeah. Citadine GM. Um, the the Citadine was just, it, because it was that Omprat leather, it was so heavy. I used it as a carry-on on a flight that I was taking to go to a, a hair class. And the Infini was really pretty. It, the color is really great because it kind of looks black, but if you have it up against black, it does have that like blue color to it. So it was really gorgeous. The interior was that like blue and black lines interior um, lining. Um, I just ended up not ever carrying it because it ended up being so heavy with all my stuff in it. Uh, on its own, if I could just carry the purse without anything in it, what's the point of that? But if I could, it was a great purse. So one bag that I purchased from Fashion File, and this is the only time I've ever done this, and sent it back because it wasn't what I was expecting, was the Balenciaga, Balenciaga Calfskin Everyday Tote, and it was in black. It was, it retails for $1,185, and I got it for $887.65, and I believe that includes the tax and shipping that I paid, because now Fashion File does charge tax. Uh, the reason I sent it back, so I was just trying to kind of branch out of the, the Louis Vuitton world for just a minute and see what other brands were out there that I really like, maybe that I would want to start incorporating more of. And it just, compared to the pictures, it was so much smaller than what they showed in the pictures. And on top of that, um, the straps, the way they were, they did not, they didn't feel secure. And I know how much I carry my purses and I know like the never full straps that they're, they're really sturdy and strong and they are made to take a lot of weight, but it just didn't feel like because these, these straps were that, um, really soft, supple leather. I will say that for Balenciaga, it was a great leather. Um, but it was just too, it was just too flimsy. It wasn't big enough. I was afraid that with all my stuff in it, I was going to end up pulling those straps off somehow. And I was, I would be devastated if I did that on a, oh, almost thousand dollar bag. Like, I don't know what I would do. So probably just sit and cry for a day or two, maybe years. Maybe years. And then another small other good that I purchased that I ended up selling was my um, Omprant key pouch in the color Poppy. It was a beautiful piece. It it held a ton, like you could get a whole bunch of cards and whatever in there. It would hold your keys because it had a key ring chain on it. Um, it and those retail for $455 and I paid $380. The reason I ended up getting rid of that one is simply I just, I didn't love the color. I thought I did. Again, I tried to branch out and, you know, f get out of my normal browns and black color bags. But you know what? Those are just a go-to for me. Now, when I do my bag wish list that I'm going to film, I have some bags that are in a, they're a colored bag. And I think, because I think they're so beautiful, I'm drawn to all of them. The poppy color was just too much for me. It's just, 
uh, even inside of a bag, it just was too much. And I was afraid that it was gonna get color transfer because sometimes those lighter colors get color transfer. So I, I was just a little nervous with that. I ended up selling it on a Facebook uh, pre-loved group and I got the exact same amount that I paid for it. And so I was, I was very pleased with that. And last but not least is I had, I have had one travel, travel bag by Louis Vuitton and it was the Keep All 50. I ended up selling that one because again, here we're back to, that is just a larger looking speedy and it, it only had those top handles. It, it was not the bandolier version. And to me, that is just, it's too heavy, especially when you get to that um, 50 centimeter size, you're going to be putting so much in there because it's so big and it would have been a great overnight bag for you know taking a small weekend trip with my husband or whatever but overall it just it, it didn't work for my lifestyle I also you can that I think that's the last size that you can carry on to an airplane and to me um I don't know if you've ever gotten onto airplane and as you're getting on with your carry-ons they say oh we don't have room so you're gonna have to check that bag like that just makes me nervous i don't want my bag my my luxury bag that i've paid so much for to be put underneath the plane uh, last minute or whatever i just i wasn't comfortable with that and then even if you put it in the overhead bin sometimes people are not they're not careful they don't they're not considerate of your other people's stuff so i decided to sell that one i can't remember i think i paid Again, pre-loved. I think I paid like three, three twenty-five for that. Really great deal. And I ended up selling it for a four hundred and forty dollars to Fashion File. So that is one that I ended up making a little bit of money on. And I actually ended up they would have given me four hundred dollars cash for it, or with a store credit they would give me four hundred and forty dollars. So I took a store credit because clearly I'm going to be purchasing more more items in the future and probably selling more items to them in the future. So I will, um, I'll let you know how that goes, how that whole process with selling with them. It's been a little weird because of the quarantine and them not working or not being open or whatever, but um, it, it's been an okay process overall. But so those are, the bags. those are the bags that I have sold and why, including a few um, small other goods that I've sold. So let me know what what pieces have you purchased and then ended up selling you thought you were gonna love but you didn't or you had had for so long maybe you um use that money to fund towards some you know another luxury piece but let me know in the comments down below don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that like button down below and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time i post up new content i post up so much you know hair luxury uh makeup all that stuff so hit that like button. You don't want to miss out. Bye. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit that notification. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. So I also... Yeah.